Hey, man, let's talk important audio into Studio One. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So let's get to the topic real quick, all right? Today, we're going to be showing y'all how to import audio files into Studio One's projects, all right? Let's go ahead and jump in. This, um, DAW is a little bit different than others that we've worked with in the past. Okay. So one thing is that going up to the file menu in studio one is not going to actually allow you to import audio files. Now, if you are in logic or pro tools, yes, you could go right there to import audio. But for this particular DAW, what they want you to do is go over to the, um, song menu and go to import file, or you can use the shortcut shift command I, which is also the shortcut to import audio on Pro Tools, huh? So you could go right up to the song menu, hit import file. It'll open up a browser for you so you can search through any files or drives that you may have on your computer. You can find that file on a Mac. You have the option to just hit the space bar to preview that file to make sure that's what you want to bring in. Once you're sure you wanna bring it in, you can go ahead and hit open. If any conversion is needed, uh, they will go ahead and convert it and bring it right on into the session for you, okay? Another way that you can import audio is by simply going straight to any browser and just browsing yourself and say, okay, cool. Here's the audio file that I want to bring in. You can drag in and drop it right into any blank area or onto any track that matches the tracks format. Over on the right side of the window, we have this other little browser here where we could also go. So right now on the home pane, if I wanted to go to files, I could go and search by any files or documents that I may have on my computer. So let me just see if I can go through. Um, is my gunner template. If I go to the audio files there, I have audio files that I could just drag and drop in directly from this little section too. So if you use this project browser section of the studio one window to actually locate your audio files, you do have some additional features. And this is what I would recommend the way that you get the files in. You could come over here and also see the sample rate, the bit depth, the file width, if necessary, the file type, the duration. You can play it, stop it. You can even choose to loop it and have that file playback at the session's tempo. So this is great if you're browsing for any samples or anything or uh, loops that you want to see and make sure they work with the current session that you're in. All right. I right, family, that has been a quick look at how to import audio files into your Studio One session. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Make sure you subscribe for more dope tips like this. <laughs>